In today's video, we're going to figure out which style of burl might just work best for you. Stay tuned. Well, hello everybody, I'm Matt Willis Bagpiper, and on this channel I make videos to make you a stronger and more confident piper. If you like this kind of content, please think about giving the video a like, subscribing to the channel, and hitting that bell icon to be notified of when I post new videos. I also teach Skype and online lessons if you want more personalized instruction, but more on that later. A question I've gotten a lot over the last couple of years is, what style of burl should I play? And it's a great question, and this isn't going to necessarily be a definitive video on it, but maybe give you some ideas on how to approach it and how to get your burl, well, under control for you. And briefly, the burl is a motion where with your pinky in some capacity, you're going to pass over or across the low G hole to separate the A into three parts. One of the most common is the seven, which is where you start above, sweep down, and then curl back. But not everyone can do that successfully, including me. Now, I can do it slowly, as I just demonstrated, but when I do it quickly, I start running into problems. So here's a little test you can do to see if maybe, just maybe, the seven is either right for you or not. I've done this test recently in a video on uh, paradiddle warm-ups, and there'll be a link up there to that. But briefly, the test is you take your hand, you grab these three fingers, your pointer, middle, and ring on your right hand or bottom hand, if your left hand's on the bottom, and then you try to curl your pinky back. And if you can, great. I can't. I'm not exaggerating. That's, that's as much as I can get without really straining my hand. Now, I've been given some medical reasons on why that might be. I'm not going to go into that. That's well beyond my field. But if you can easily and readily curl your finger into your palm while holding these fingers, the seven or the tap drag might be a great style of burl for you. If, like me, you can't curl your finger, I would suggest perhaps avoiding either the tap drag or the seven. So let's talk briefly about these styles that I'm saying I shouldn't be doing. So again, for the seven, I talked about it. It's where you start from a low A position, you sweep down and then curl back and across. Now for folks like me where that curling motion is tough to do, the curling, that, that bringing it back, that can require a lot of force in your hand and you might end up straining or even giving yourself tendonitis, which is what I did. I, I had to stop piping for about six months in 2004 from injuries I did to my finger from doing um, a, a tap drag burl or a cobra burl as it's often known. That burl is where you tap once and then you pull it back. So it still involves a pull back after a, a tap. And you can see, I still have some muscle memory on that one. And again, if I do it slowly, it works. <laughs> for the seven there. Again, if I do them slowly and not too often, I can still do the curling motion, but it doesn't take very long for me to have this finger start acting up. So what should you do if, like me, this finger doesn't want to curl readily? Well, there's two different ways you can go about this. The way I like to do it is to start from below the hole, sweep up and across, and then down and across. So I start off the channer, I sweep up. I don't even go all the way to my ring finger. I go close, Keep the finger on the channel for the most part. I might come off just a little bit. And then sweep back down. You can also start from above the hole, sweep down and back up. What I've noticed for both me and my students, if I start from above, I tend to spread my fingers more. Something like that, but that doesn't really matter. You can also definitely start from above, sweep down and back up. So I don't know if it matters if you sweep from below and up and back down or from above and that direction, whichever one works for you. But notice there's no curling motion in this one. It's all done with inner hand muscle. And at least for me, it's alleviated the tendonitis and the other issues I was having from curling my pinky. So if you can't readily curl your pinky into your finger, I'd recommend probably the seven burl. That is by far the most popular. That's the one you see most pipers playing. And if you're playing a seven burl and you still couldn't pass that test, no problem. Keep doing your seven burl, but pay attention. If you start feeling any sort of crispiness in your finger or like it's clicking into place or it's just feeling strained from the curling motion of the seven, you might want to consider another burl. Another very popular one again is the tap drag or cobra where you tap once and pull back. And again, if you don't pass the curling test, but you are burling like that and it's working for you, go ahead and keep doing it. Again, if you start feeling any strain in your finger, consider maybe changing it out. 
And then for my style of burl, I again start from below the hole, sweep up and back down, or you could start from above and go down and back up. I really don't think it matters. Regardless of the style of burl you're playing though, what I don't want is you pressing down. You should not be digging into the hole. It's a very light brushing, sweeping over the hole. We're just trying to separate the airflow out of this hole. We're not trying to do anything crazy. Like it shouldn't feel like a pothole ka -dunk, ka -dunk, as you're you know, moving your finger over the hole. It should be very light. That's how you're gonna get the sound, that percussive little machine gun burl that we're all after. It's not by digging in and pressing really hard. The one burl that I've been told some people do, but I have never actually seen successfully reproduced in the wild is the double tap. I've been told that some people can do it and do it quickly and make it sound like a burl. And if you can, please put a link below to a video of you doing it. I'd love to see it because everyone I've seen do it, that's just not quite a burl. It's not gonna get you up to speed. I mean, that's okay, but that's not. Where, you know, you can really kind of, like it's quick, snappy motion. I've just never heard a double tap burl be successfully played rapidly. But again, I'd love to be proven wrong. So put a link to a video below if you do happen to burl with a double tap. There you go, everybody. A quick video on maybe how to assess your burl or if you're not yet playing burls um, to maybe test your hand and figure out which one you might just have the most success with. And I want to give a special shout out to... I don't remember your name, but somebody sent me an email showing me this burl test on the curl of the finger, and I've looked through all of my messages, and I just can't seem to find it. So if you remember who you are, please comment below. I'd love to give you credit. I'll put it in the description once I see it, if you do uh, give a shout out below for uh, giving me this great little test for the pinky. Well, thank you so much, everybody. If you got something out of this video, please think about giving it a like, subscribing to the channel, and hitting that bell icon to be notified when I post new videos. I also have a Patreon where as little as a dollar a month goes a long way to helping to support the channel. So head over there. There's early access to videos and other perks. Check it out. And I want to give a special shout out to my newest elite patron, Mr. Barrett Bishop. Thank you so much for that level of support. It means the world to me. I also give Skype and online lessons. Go ahead and head over to www.commandyourbagpipe.com or email me at the address you see here and we'll get you going. I'm working with folks from all over the planet and I hope to work with you soon. I also have a line of Command Your Bagpipe merchandise like this fine mug right here, but there's also hats and t-shirts and other things, so check that out, get yourself some bagpipe merchandise, and let the world know that you command your bagpipe. Well, thank you so much for watching, everybody. Again, I'm Matt Willis, and until next time, cheers. Cheers.